Hello and welcome to another episode of LMTYL, and sorry for my machine-like voice, today I will teach you how you can make, no damage hack and one hit kill hack in the game, Sekiro. As you can see, now I am standing in Ashina's outskirt, but first of all I will like to tell you that this is not a very beginner friendly video, at least you must be aware of finding addresses for certain things like health, and you must know few things about AOB scripts, still I will try to explain everything. Let's find out health address, it is a 4 byte value, and range from 0 up to 1140, so search for value between 100 and 1200, We got so many results, let's take some damage in the game, by the way I have a hotkey for scanning unchanged values and I keep doing that while blocking his attacks. Now search for decreased value. Now let's get back into game and keep scanning unchanged value, while blocking him. Now when he hits you stop scanning for unchanged value, now you need to scan for decrease value, repeat this process. Let's take this last 740 value and freeze it. Yeah now our health is not decreasing, it's good cause we have found our health address. So let's write a script so that it will keep our value of health freezed at some value, unfreeze the value and click on find out what writes to this address. Now again get into the game and take some damage, after getting the exact of code, click on show disassembler. Now click on tools. Auto assemble, template, AOB injection. Now take a look at the code. It is moving EAX into some register, RBX plus 130, which means that RBX plus 130 is holding our health value and EAX is having the new health value, so we can easily change whatever it is stored in EAX, so let's just move into EX integer value 1000 let's assign this to cheat table and see if it's working or not click on the box to enable script Yeah, it is actually working, so yeah. This video must be over now. As we got infinite health and that's so cool. So now we can be like John Wick, but there is one problem. Now the enemies are immortal too, as you can see, he cannot be defeated now, and so we cannot defeat anyone in the game, he has become immortal.
we have to modify the script. So now again in disassembler click on, find out what other addresses this instruction accesses. And then you will get a new window like this, get back into the game and defeat some enemies, the more enemies you defeat, better the script would become. Sorry for this lag. Now you will see some addresses popped up in our new window, they are health addresses of enemies and one of them is our health address. Select all of them and click on open dissect data with selected addresses, keep clicking OK. Now have a look, here RBX plus 130. What is this 130, it is an offset. So in RBX register, 130th offset have value of health. Here is 130th offset, and these are values of health of enemies and of our hero, so 1120 is our current health, now we need to change the group of hero from the enemies to compare the values. Can you see these FFF value, these values usually do not change, and you can see that only hero have that FFF value, all other enemies have different value, so we are going to write a script by taking this into consideration, and remember, it is at offset 74. So click on Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, AUB Injection. And now let me explain you AUB script. Whenever the script is enabled, it does AOB scan in the memory and find this unique location, and then rather than following original upcodes, it follows the script. So it comes to this inject, and then follows code written below it, here it jumps to new mem, here it is new mem so let's write something in new mem. CMP stands for compare, let's compare RBX and offset. Sorry, let me take a look, yes so offset 74. So CMP, RBX plus 74, then add a comma. Then write what value to compare in hexadecimal, here we are going to write value of our hero, which is this FFFF. Then write JE which means jump if equal to, and write the name of label where you want it to jump. So let's create this label Sekiro, and I prefer writing this code below the original code. This is same as we did it before. Just don't forget to jump to return after completing the code. Back to new memory, if the comparison is true, 
then program will jump to Sekiro. But if it is false it will carry out the code line by line, so we will just make it jump to original code, so we type JMP code. This should definitely work. Let's assign this to cheat table, now let's enable our new script. Now this is really working, they cannot reduce our health and our hero can defeat them. So now we can really play this game like that of John Wick. But what if we want to make one hit kill hack, let's do it too. We just have to change the value of EX in the label code, which is for enemies to zero, and it will just reduce health of all enemies to zero. Yeah it is working. That's all for today, give a like to the video and don't forget our name, LMTYL.